So they tell me you can't have potatoes on keto. Ah, 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 ah. That's what they say. Let's go. I am Darius. It's a sugarless crystal. It's your sugar-free destination of YouTube. Enjoy me. I'm guilt-free. And uh, So today we got like a super, super quick one. Well, I assume it's quick. I haven't edited the video yet, but in my mind, like, it's only a dip, so it can't possibly be for so long. We have a loaded keto potato dip. I'm gonna go ahead and hop into this thing, and we'll talk a little bit about it in the meantime of me making it. First off, you wanna start off with a full cup of sour cream. Now you have cream cheese in this as well. What you wanna do is you wanna bring the cream cheese up to room temperature. Now, I also brought the sour cream up to room temperature, like, I didn't want to mix it and the sour cream was a little stiff and you know, but it really, at the end of the day, it really didn't matter. But what did matter was that cream cheese being at room temperature. Like the sour cream is not going to put up much of a fight, but that cream cheese, try it if you want to. Speaking of cream cheese, let's bring this in the equation and we only use two ounces. Now in the store, I couldn't find chopped up chives. So I had to buy chives and chop them myself. This process took maybe like two or three minutes. It wasn't too much at all. But if you can find chopped chives already, go for it. Chop chives. Yeah. All right. So two things, well, three things actually. Room temperature cream cheese, chop your chives, and make a decision about your bacon. Now, I went with the simple real bacon bits. I didn't use artificial ones. I used like the real bacon crumbles. But of course, like you do have the option of cooking bacon and chopping it up yourself. To be honest, that's probably gonna give you a better flavor than anything else. But because it's real bacon bits in here, I didn't really have an issue with it. Like it still came out amazing. Now that we have our bacon and our chives decided on what we're gonna do about them, our next step is in our sour cream and cream cheese mixture, we add all our seasonings in. For our seasonings, we have a half a teaspoon of salt, a fourth a teaspoon of white pepper, and one tablespoon of ranch dressing. Now we're gonna take all these and bring them together. Our next step will be our shredded cheese, bacon bits, and our chives. Now, as you see, I was using a whisk you don't want to use a whisk to put these in because it's already like a, dri a dip. So what it's going to do is it's going to get stuck all in between your whisk. So what I did was I took all three of those ingredients and I folded them in. Now with my cheese, I went with a uh, sharp cheddar shred. Of course, you can always go for the mild, but typically like you want the cheese to stand out a little bit. You want that sharp cheddar to be there and like kind of cut through everything else. You know what I'm saying? Like. I'm just saying, do yourself a favor and get some sharp cheddar, okay? Just get the sharp cheddar. Trust me, trust me. But anyway, fold all those ingredients in, and now I'm gonna try them. Now let's talk, well, before I do that, let's talk about like the flax crackers or either the whisk. And thank you guys, cause you actually um, turned me on to these. I knew nothing about these. You remember my video um, from the hurricane? and I had the flax crackers and everybody, everyone was like, did you try a whisk? Did you try a whisk? And I was like, what is that? I have some and I know what they are. And guess what, they work wonders with this particular recipe. I don't know how flax crackers would taste with them. These cheddar cheese whisk with the loaded keto potato dip. Ah, it's just, you know what? I'm gonna taste it. Right. I'm not gonna keep talking about it. So a quick tip about this, when you stick it in the fridge, like it's gonna get hard. There's cream cheese and the sour cream, they're all gonna harden up. Like, it's not gonna be so hard where you can't spoon it out, but whatever you try to dip in there is probably gonna break it. Got my wisp here. I can't believe it's keto. <laughs> all right, anyway. It's a little salty to me. But I have like a low salt tolerance, so mine is much lower than everyone else. Someone else may taste this and think it's like perfection. But regardless of the saltiness, like the flavor's there. The ranch dressing, it adds like a little bit of that flavor to the overall dip. The sour cream and cream cheese mixed with the saltiness from the bacon and then the sharp cheddar, that's what you get. You get that. You get that overall combination of it, and what? And I mean, I can't steal you wrong. It tastes like a baked potato, like the loaded baked potato, without the potato in it. 
the chips fill in the potato part, if that makes sense. Cause I mean, let's think about it. I mean, you take all the fillings off or whatever and you just eat a potato. I mean, it's, it's not really exciting. But boy, you get a potato, you toss some sour cream, chives, sharp cheddar, bacon on that sucker and oh man, all of a sudden it's amazing. Just like this dip. And we're not even gonna talk about sweet potatoes. I would love to make a sweet potato casserole. Well, I, I do have a sweet potato casserole. I actually updated the one I have on the site. I'll link it below. To do a sweet potato dip, like, whoa. That would probably be mind blowing. But I don't really know how chips would really work with that. Like, nah, I don't know, who knows. Now, a heads up, hopefully by the time I release this video, I would have gotten my website put together. Cause for some reason, the website isn't letting me publish the post with the actual recipe on it. The recipe, all the pictures, things of that nature, I have not been able to get it onto the site yet. The post is finished, so hopefully by the time this comes out, it will be live. It'll be linked in the description box below. Now all you gotta do is you can click, go check out the pictures, you can get the full recipe details, if you didn't catch them when I gave them out earlier, cause I kinda did blur them out a little fast. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We do videos at least twice a week? Yeah. This week I think, I'm, I'm going for three this week, but that's not gonna be something I'm gonna do all the time. Like, this video was so short, I knew I could edit it and get it out in no time. Like, but the recipe was just so good. I was like, I have to share it with YouTube. I just can't I just can't give this to Pinterest and the internet. I gotta give it to YouTube too. Well, everything's kind of like intertwined. Anyway, the full recipe details will be down in the description box, hopefully, when they're supposed to be there. Also down there you can find all my other recipes, my blog posts feature my food reviews, and all my favorite products. Not to mention shitless crystals t-shirt. Grab yourself one head into the kitchen and get messy. And look, I cleaned it up a little bit. I got, I got one of my future recipes sitting back there right now, but y'all can't see what that is just yet. I am Darius. This is Sugarless Crystals, your sugar-free destination of YouTube. And I'm not a chef. I'm an entertainer. Bye.